Um, this is called, this is called, give me my fucking secret sauce. <laughs> Listen to me. I open this store every day. I work an hour before you get here, or I work two more after you leave. Every day I turn on that grill, every night I empty that grease trap, and I don't ask a goddamn thing of you except to keep the dishes clean, keep the silver, silverware stocked, and don't get in the way. Because it's not you I have a problem with, really. It's that you're standing between me and my shift meal. No, listen to me. Two hours ago, the secret sauce was sitting in the line right where it should be, next to the teriyaki, Daryl. You stole it. You didn't think I'd notice because you don't understand how much people like me notice. You just wash the dishes. You wash the dishes because you're an inept little sheep and you do what you're told. And hey, I really appreciate that most days. But you're starting to wear on me and that's when shit's gonna get tricky. Chad? Chad didn't steal the secret sauce. I buy weed from Chad. I buy a lot of weed from Chad and I give him overtime hours. He has no reason to steal from me. No, you're being ridiculous. Why are we in the freezer? Because I'm the fucking shift lead, that's why. Do you see this visor? It's a visor. You don't get to wear a visor because you just wash the dishes. I'm the fucking shift lead. That's why you followed me into the freezer. Because when people like me say to do something, people like you do it. We're getting away from the point here. Give me the secret sauce. Do you know what the chicken Caesar salad is like without the secret sauce, Daryl? It's fucking awful. I don't eat it. I won't eat it. But out of a few hundred meals I make a day, I get to cook one for myself, and today, that's a chicken Caesar salad with the feta, just like I like it. I leave it in the fridge for 30 minutes because I like it cold. And then I warm up a little secret sauce, put it on top, and for 10 minutes out of my whole goddamn day, something is okay for me. I come back from the refrigerator today, and it's gone. Just like that. And I'm standing there like some asshole with my little plastic fork, and I'm hungry, Daryl. I'm so hungry I could puke, but there's nothing in me to come out. No, no, I know you didn't take it, Daryl. Just like I didn't hide your inhaler. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't talk to me like that. You're doing this to yourself. I'm your friend, Daryl. I'm your training overseer. I'm your shift lead, I'm your friend. Just like Chad is your friend. And until about 20 minutes ago, I thought you were my friend. Chad and I are friends. I just asked him, but he was all like, Bro, of course we're friends. <laughs> like he does. You know that like, little thing he does where he calls everybody, Bro? Or maybe he just does that to cooks, and we do that to each other. I'm cold too, Daryl. There's something you've got to learn. This is a cold, cold world. I'm not opening the door. Not today. Not until you give me my secret sauce. Day in, day out, I just take keep taking pile and pile of shit from you people. And for what? A free sandwich and a cheap fucking polo? I'm sick of it. I get a shift drink and a shitty paper cup, and I put it above the grill, and it just sits up there all day and gets warm. I figure by the time I get to it, I've replaced half the sweat I've lost up other people's food. Yeah, it is gross. It keeps me up some nights. I know you understand. Just like I understand that I didn't take your inhaler. I definitely didn't put it at the bottom of the trash can, and you definitely didn't just take the trash out. I know, Daryl. It's hard for me to breathe, too. It gets a little harder every day.